Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Vanessa V, and I'm here with another video. <laughs> so today, as you guys can tell from the title, your bitch went to TJ Maxx, and to say I had self-control, <laughs> I can't sit here and say that. So I've been seeing all these viral, like, I won't even say TikToks because I'm on the late game and really not on TikTok like that. My thing is Instagram and if you don't follow me on Instagram, girl, what are you doing? Like, honestly, what are you doing? Follow me, because <laughs> that's where it's at. Um, but at Vanessa.V on Instagram.com. No, I don't even know if it's Instagram.com, but Vanessa.V on Instagram. Um, first things first, I have to tell you guys, on a couple of videos ago, I said I had been um, wearing that lip plumping gloss from Pixie that Erica gave me. You guys asked for the name, and girl, it doesn't have a tag on it. Like, it doesn't tell me the name, so I can't even share that with you. But today, I am wearing this Winky Lux uh, Cherry Glaze. Let me see what's gonna focus for me. Girl, focus for us. There it is. Super cute. These are so cute and like, I don't know, I just, they're a whole ass vibe. I think they're so cute. I actually like the applicator. Um, it's not super hard, it's kind of flimsy in a way and it's kind of like thin. Love it. Um, these came in a four pack. I did give two away and this one's in the, I guess, flavor or scent, cherry glaze. So there you guys go. In case you're interested, put that down. Um, but yeah, I saw all these, tic not even TikToks, why do I keep saying that? And not even Instagram Reels, because your bitch lives on YouTube. So I saw a lot of YouTubers talking about a bunch of TikTokers and all their scores at TJ Maxx. Now, I will say, <coughs> I'm like coffee. Um, there has been life breathed back into the beauty community here on YouTube and I'm here for it. So for a while I really wasn't into like makeups anymore. I wasn't buying too much of anything as far as the makeup genre of my life goes. Then I started hearing about TJ Maxx bringing the goods and I'm like, bitch, I'm stingy with my coin especially when it comes to makeup because back like a few years ago she she had me in a choke cold like everybody be saying that that's my saying now because honestly that's how tj maxx had me tj maxx had me in a choke cold i won't even lie i went multiple times spent lots of monies and here we are girl um so to say this is the last TJ Maxx haul, that's gonna be a lie because I'm about to be back there like two or three times a week because y'all already know how I do. But let me jump right into it, show you what I got. Of course, there's gonna be some beauty finds in there, but of course I got some other stuff, so let me show you what's up. <clears throat> okay, so the first item I got, you guys, if you saw my get ready with me for my Valentine's Day, you guys have already seen this. I wore this to my date. Super cute. If you guys are sleeping on the brand Light Dreams at TJ Maxx, wake up, honey. They have some cute little bags. This one's actually pretty sturdy, like it has cardboard in it or something. This reminds me of the little coach bags that have come out for the past couple of years. Girl didn't get a coach bag, but girl got not one, but two, two of these cute ass little bags. So I got the red one and then I got the pink one. They're both exactly the same except the pink one is still new. I think I just said in one of my last videos, uh, I'm not like everybody else using my shit and then showing you guys, but Loki, I have used this once. Um, this is what it looks like on the inside. It has like an accordion style opening. There's no pockets in. In the inside, it just says, like, dreams on this little patchwork back here. Super cute. Very trendy. Simple look. <clears throat> I bought these these past month in February, and honestly, to say that I wasn't selfish, that's, that's a lie. Why did I have to get two of them? I had to get two of them because they were so cute and such a cute deal. 
that I just had to have them. So I got them both for $19.99 each. There's the price. And then, of course, the pink one's going to look exactly the same. This one has not been used. And even though the month of February is over, girl, this would look cute even with the shirt I'm wearing. Like, ain't nobody tell me nothing. Nobody's going to be able to tell me nothing. Tell me something. Try to tell me something. Okay. So, it can go for other looks even not in the month of February. Period. <clears throat> All right. Next item. All right. So, I got these for for my dogs. Um, I don't think I showed this. I got this for $7.99. Like, girl, no, I didn't want to play $7.99, but I thought it was so cute for Easter for my dogs. And then I also got them this one. This one was a lot more affordable, and I picked it up for only $3.99. I want to say that while I was at TJ Maxx, I did grab some clips of all the great things that I saw, so I'll make sure to include some of that footage. Bitch, I'm not one of those YouTubers for a shop with me, but, you know, I try. The next item I got are my favorite loofahs. I did pick these up again at TJ Maxx for $4.99. Don't sleep on these. You need these in your life. If you wash your body with a loofah, check these out. They're big, they're fluffy, they're durable, they don't like fall apart like the Walmart ones even after having them for a while so I'm trying to get a thumbnail all right so the next item I got I'm actually quite interested in this my sister got one of these but from a different brand I think these are the curls run the world, but they're like the heatless curl system. The one where you put like the big thing over your head and clip it. I might actually try this tonight since I'm filming. I'll let you know how it goes. Maybe I'll make an Instagram reel or something. More reason for you to follow me. Um, and I just thought it was cute because it was like a little leopard vibe. And this was $6.99. Now, when I tell you guys that somebody said like girl you always find the good things yes girl because I go more than one day a week low-key there are some weeks that I go like at least twice a week sometimes three depending if I hit up different stores because there are several like around me so there's no shame in my game girl I'm looking for a good deal I'm looking for all the finds and I want cute shit at an affordable price. And I'm not saying like you should follow this model, but your girl, your girl spends her money at TJ Maxx. Just leave me alone. All right. The next item I'm actually excited about. <laughs> I picked it up on one of my TJ Maxx hauls. I picked this up for $7.99. I just thought it was super cute. It, it's that Hint brand of uh, body moisturizer. So it works like a lotion from my understanding. There it is. Cute. So I get this tan color and it's a soft citrus and sweet cream herbal body moisturizer. So I'm going to be moisturizing with this for $7.99. Okay, so I have a couple of things that are not makeup. I'm gonna show you guys those things first and then we're gonna go right into the makeup. So all that to say, girl, if you don't have a drink yet, if you don't have a snack yet, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and get that, I'll wait. Okay, so like I said, I have a couple of things that are not makeup. The next one, or the first one, is going to be this Morphe. Um, and it's just a gel cleanser. Having the hardest time trying to get this to focus. But it's the Morphe gel cleanser. It does have a number two right here. I think it's a little difficult to see. There we go. There we go. I don't know if you guys can see it. It is a gel uh, cleanser. It's bubbly fresh gel to foam cleanser. 
this is it outside of the package. Let me just tell you, last night I used it for the first time and I love it so much. I don't think I guys showed you the Pacifica one I was using. I'm actually gonna go grab that real quick because I need to tell you what not to buy. Okay, so I went to go get it. This is the one I had bought from TJ Maxx a while back. I don't think I showed it to you guys, but it is by Pacifica. And it's a coconut milk one. Um, I picked this up for $4.99. And I will say I tried to use it mostly because I paid for it. But honestly, it doesn't foam up that much. I feel like it doesn't remove the makeup that much. And... In addition to all of that, I feel like when it gets in my eyes, it like severely burns. So, yeah, so it's a coconut cream to foam face wash. I probably use 60 to 70% of this for the sake of using it so that I could buy a new one. But I just decided to go ahead and use buy this, use this, and maybe keep this as a backup. But honestly, I really don't like it. <laughs> Okay, so I have a couple of more items that are not makeup that I'm going to go ahead and get out of the way. I thought these were the cutest things, and I cannot wait to use them. They're like a neutral color and a black, um, like, daisy clip, which are totally trendy right now. So, your girl got them. I got them for $7.99. They're like a soft matte finish. I'm really here for them. I like them a lot. Here they are. The next item I got were more clips. Honestly, I had been looking for a checkered pack of clips. So I think that's why I got these. They're a little small, but I thought they'd be cute for like a half little do. Do I have scissors here? Let's see. I'm gonna cut one off just to kind of see the vibe. Now I'm gonna go with the green one because I have a little bit of green in my shirt. I picked those up for $7.99. So, that's that. I don't know if you guys can see it, but that's that. I don't know. I feel like I look kind of weird only because I don't normally style my hair that way. So, it's a work in progress, but I think it's pretty cute. Okay, this is the last item that doesn't have to do with makeup. I actually got this for my boyfriend. He does have, like, curly hair. It's a coconut hibiscus curling gel souffle. I got this by Shea Moisture. And I picked this up for $4.99. So, um, you guys know Valentine's just passed. His birthday's coming up, so I'm going to add this to his birthday gift. Of course, that's not going to be the only thing he gets, but, you know, I like to do things. And that's going to be in there. All right, on to the makeup. It's a lot, girl. It's a lot. All right, we're going to dig right in. We're going to go in with something I actually have seen at TJ Maxx before, but because everybody's like, oh my gosh, TJ Maxx has all this cute makeup. You got to go. I went. I found it. And at first, I wasn't really impressed with TJ Maxx and the finds that I found, so I ended up picking this up one of the first trips that I went out there. So I got this Blush Crush. I know you guys have seen their, these there before. They also had like blue packaging before. I picked this up for $4.99. This is by Rude Cosmetics. I've actually tried Rude Cosmetics a couple of times because they sell it at TJ Maxx. All right, so I went ahead and picked it up. I did pick it up in, I picked it up for $4.99. Um, I said that I tried Rude Cosmetics a couple of times through Lashy Box, and then I also know I have a palette from them that they sell at, or have sold at TJ Maxx. These are the colors of the blush right here. I thought they were pretty cute. And I wanted to try Rude Cosmetic blushes because I had tried their eyeshadows. And I actually think their eyeshadows are pretty pigmented. So I wanted to give their blushes a try. 
Again, I picked that up for $4.99. Then, as you guys know, Morphe's going out of business, so they have tons of products that keep popping up all over the place at TJ Maxx. I picked up this one. The packaging was a little bit of a casualty, but it's a nine pan eyeshadow um, palette. I picked this up for $8.99. Don't ask me why I picked this up for $8.99 when you see the next item I bought. But this was it. It's called Petal Passion. I just thought it was so gorgeous inside. This is what it looks like on the inside. Now, if you guys know Morphe products, you know that Morphe is their eyeshadow. It's not all that, girl. But I did think this was pretty cute. And actually, maybe I'll swatch a few. So I'm going to get my wrist. Maybe I'll do it here so you guys can see it better. I'm just going to grab a couple of colors, do my due diligence, and go ahead and swipe them. Ooh, some of these are really creamy. That is gorgeous. I don't know if you guys can see it. That was a creamy one. Yeah. They're mattes. I mean, they're not that pigmented. Uh, or they're pigmented, but they're kind of splotchy. But that saying no to more was this confetti looking one. It looked closer to this one over here as far as the particles once before I swiped it. But it's nice and creamy it appears that both of those are going to be nice and creamy so this was the nine pan eyeshadow palette for $8.99 and then bitch i picked up this one it's the 18 pan eyeshadow palette called va va bloom um from the same you know they look almost the same except one's nine one's 18 and this one was $12.99 I did pick them up on different instances, but I kind of felt like I wanted the collection. So this one looks like this. It's a nice, pretty pink color. And let me show you the inside. These, the other one just had a, a little sheet on it. This one's a hard plastic and the names are on the eyeshadows. Um, this one has a lot more neutrals. I think it's a very pretty. Yes, queen. And I'll do the same. I'll swatch a couple of them. Ooh, that copper looks gorgeous. Let's look at this copper. This is not a cream one. That's pretty pretty. I don't know if you guys can see it because the lighting, but that's pretty cute. Let's try this mauve color that feels pretty good too and it almost feels like a metallic yeah there's quite a bit of metallics in there those colors almost watch the same i mean they're they are right next to each other very cute love that excited to use it now that i'm filming this video okay so blah blah bloom Three down, lots to go. So the next item I picked up, girl, I was shook when I saw these. I mean, I was shook, but at the same time, I haven't really been hearing anybody like raving about them in a while. They're the Lily Lashes. I saw that they had the magnetic ones as well as like their traditional ones. Come on. I swear, this lighting's gonna drive me nuts. Okay, so there we go. I got these in the style Randy. They're the 3D Foam Mink Lashes. These easily at Sephora are like $20, $22. Even at Ulta, I picked these up. Call me crazy. I paid $7.99. The actually Miami lashes that Tana Mojo always wore um, were $7.99, I mean $9.99, so I picked these up because these are a style that I actually have purchased before and liked, and I got them for $7.99. The next item I got, I don't even know if this color is going to work for me, but it's the KVD Locket Powder Foundation. 
Um, I've been seeing these there. They had a few of them. I went ahead and picked this one up because I thought it was a color that possibly could work for me. And I picked this up for $9.99. This is what the packaging looks like. It has a little bit of red and some red back here. That's what the back looks like. I got it in medium, one, four, five. And honestly, bitch, I don't know if that's gonna work. But, I got it. And honestly, it might just work. Yeah, I'll let you know. I'll keep you updated. But I thought that was pretty cute for $9.99. I've also been seeing recently that they have the foundations. When I picked that up, they didn't have the foundations. I tried to make a foundation work, but it was way too orange. You know, low key, I just tested it and didn't take it. Like, I didn't bring it home. I just tested it at the store. I'm that bitch. The next item I got, I was too stoked to find. And you guys are probably going to be like, bitch, are those expired? Because that shit is hella old. I mean, I don't know. They're selling it there. I'm hoping it's not expired. I'm going to use them, though. Um, I got the Michaela and Glam Light lip set. Hello. Hi. How are you? Um, I got this for $5.99. So what a steal. When you pull it out... You're gonna get three components that look like this. I'm totally stoked now that I'm finally showing you guys because now I can use them. These look like the size of eyeshadows, like low-key like eyeshadows. So these don't have any names on them. That's the only downside. But let's see. Yeah. The names are not on the back either, so I was really hoping for a name. So they don't have a name, they're just Michaela X Glam Light. Um, one's like a pearly diamondy color. I don't know if you guys can see that. And then one of them's like a creamy gold color. So cute. And then we got like this peach light nudie color. They're all supposed to be lip glosses, so. There we go. That's that color. Michaela X Glam Light. Super cute. I honestly could not believe they were $5.99. I'm so excited to have them part of my collection. As soon as I saw them, they were like the only one. And you know I snatched those hoes up. <sighs> Girl, if you're still watching this video, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> Girl, what are you doing? Get up, get ready, go to TJ Maxx, come back and tell me what you got. Like... TJ Maxx is that girl right now. <laughs> Alright. The next item I got was another eyeshadow palette. This one I actually have been wanting. And low-key, I was influenced by another YouTuber who hauled this. Um, I've seen this there before. So it wasn't necessary. But I'm telling you, I went to TJ Maxx at different times. So at different times, you know, I scoured the goods and I picked from what there was. Had some of these items been there when this one was there, I probably would have passed this one because I have passed it before. But nonetheless, Cara Beauty is a great brand. I love their eyeshadows. Can't fault them on that. And I picked this up for $12.99. Um, this is what the color story looks like. I'm not going to swatch any of them. Girl, if you know, you know Cara Beauty is where it's at. Well, let me see if I can at least open it so I can show you the colors. Um, because I'm a real fan. Curry Beauty, if you want to sponsor your girl, let your girl know. Uh, my business info's in the bio. No, it's in the description. So, for real, for real, you want to sponsor your girl, hit me up. Okay, let's get this out. 
Okay. It's the Hello Honey by Cara Beauty. I've seen this before, girl. I know you've seen it there before too, but half the time these hoes be all messy. So it does come with a little sheet protector. Look at these colors. Doesn't this just scream summer? Like, take this one palette on vacation. You don't need any other palettes. You really don't. Look at that. Summery. All the little golden tone, tone neutrals. I'm here for it. So, again, Cara Beauty, Hello Honey. Not going to swatch any of those, but I did pick it up for $12.99. TJ Maxx made me their bitch this month. Okay. Next item over here. I got a lot of more items, so bear with me. The next item, I know you guys have heard everybody finding these. I found them too, and guess what, girl? I found this like two weeks ago. Then like two days ago, I saw it at TJ Maxx. At another TJ Maxx. So that's why I'm telling you, girl. You ju just gotta keep going. You just gotta keep searching. Your moment's gonna come. I got this Ashley Strong, which low-key, I don't even know who she is. I just heard everybody talking about her. Everybody buying this little lip kit from TJ Maxx. Uh, and I got the Tourmaline Soul. I mean, honestly, I don't know how to say that, so if you do, enlighten a bitch. Um, but it, I did see that it came wrapped like so. And this I picked up for $4.99, so cheap, cheap, cheap. I found this, like, the first day that I went when I went and found those Michaela Glam Light Glosses. So it comes with these two products. One of them is a lip pencil. Nice. It's a nice little wooden lip pencil. And of course the shade is Tourmaline Soul. And then we have the Tourmaline Soul lip gloss. Brand brand spanking you. Thank you TJ Maxx. And thank you to all the other hoes digging through the shit that didn't mess it up. Thank you. So, I thought it was a pretty cute color. It's more like a mauve pink color on the darker side for what I tend to go for for my lips. But for $4.99, girl, we're going to try all the Morphe. Because, girl, you're going out of business, and now we're going to buy you. That's my motto. No, but I did want to try it. So, like, $4.99 makes it easy. All right, the next item I got... I got for $2.99 was a Morphe Angled Gel Liner Brush. I got this for $2.99. Let me see if I can open it. Um, I have plenty of brushes, but gel liner brushes, I do not. So, I picked it up. It is angled. I guess it's not a gel liner. It's just an eyeliner. This is what it looks like. And it's angled. It's a Morphe N217 or 717. I got it for, I think it's supposed to be 27, no, 717. And I got it for 299. So it's teeny tiny, but it's cute. Hopefully it's gonna get the job done. Girl, I still got like 10 products, so you better chill. You better chill. Go walk the dog and then come back. Go um, feed the baby and then come back. I'm going to be here. So the next one I got is also by Morphe called Make It Big. It's a lip gloss. Why is this hair stuck to it? Make It Big. It is a plumping lip gloss. I got it in the shade Big Sweet Tea. Oh, this is what it looks like. Big Sweet Tea. And brand new. That's what the applicator looks like. It's a little chubby applicator. Mmm, it smells like peppermint, so that's what they're using to give you the plumping effect. I'm actually gonna leave that out and throw the box. I got it for $4.99. Of 
because I need to use them. I don't like opening lip glosses and then not using them, so I need to go ahead and use them so they don't go bad. The next item I got is Black Opal. I got this for $3.99. I honestly was not sure the brand, but it's a black lipstick. So it looks like that. Sorry, I'm not even showing you. There you go. And it says black cherry. I honestly do not know the brand. Oh, it's a matte lipstick, color splurge, and grateful. That's what it says at the bottom. And it's a liquid lipstick. Because it's black, I don't think I'm going to open it and use it yet. Because the last time I did that, my black lipstick ended up going bad because I don't wear it that often. So that one you'll just have to wonder about. The next item I got is, yes, bitch, yes, I found some Jaclyn Cosmetics. Hi, I'm a Jaclyn Cosmetics virgin. I have never used Jaclyn Cosmetics, but because they're going under and they had their products at TJ Maxx, your girl swooped in. So I got a Jaclyn Cosmetics, and this is their liquid lip. I got their liquid lip and uh, the shade Sweetheart. I got this for $6.99. This is what she looks like. Look at that. I'm actually low-key excited to use this one as well. I'll go ahead and open it because I know I want to use it. And this is what the applicator looks like. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. In the color Sweetheart. All right, we have about five more products or so, so hang on to your Bridget's. Bridget, your Bridges. Okay, I picked this up for $5.99. This is also from Jaclyn Cosmetics, and this box took a bit of a beating. This is in Sun Lover. This is her highlighter. And because that box took a beating too, I'm gonna toss it. Oh wait, I got this for $5.99. Oh, um, yeah. I'm a little depressed about this one. This one does have a swatch on it, like a finger swatch. But honestly, it is pretty. It was cheap. I'm gonna put some alcohol on it and call it a day. Do you guys hear me? I'm gonna put some alcohol on it and call it a day. I'm not above that. In fact, bitch, I'll do it right now. Here's my alcohol. I'm gonna sanitize that hoe. I'm gonna sanitize that hoe because you know TJ Maxx, people be putting their hands on shit. Um Yeah. So I just sanitized it. Um, I mean, comment down below if that would bother you. I mean, if it was like foundation, if it was a liquid lipstick, if any of those hoes were like tampered with or touched, and you know like lip glosses, you can tell like when you go to pull it out, if there's already like lip gloss all up in there, you know somebody else has fucked with it. But this is in the shade Sun Lover. I picked it up for $5.99. And yeah, it was a little bit swatched, but girl, I'm not above that. I just sanitized it. I'm going to let this hoe dry. And I'm going to be wearing this this week. So, comment down below how you guys feel about that. Comment down below if you've seen any of these Jaclyn Hill products populate there at your local TJ Maxx. Or, I mean, I'm assuming you're a TJ Maxx shopper if you're watching this video. Because, like, girl... Then you'd be watching a Ross video. Which, by the way, I got a lot of them, so check them out. Ooh. Okay. I'm trying to round this video up, girl, because I got things to do. Like, I got to go pick up a prescription. 
Okay, <laughs> the next item I got was from Pacifica, Pacifica. I know, I just said on the same video that I did not fuck with a Pacifica product. Here I am showing you another one. It's this Pacifica Lip Balm Trio Set. I got this for $5.99, sorry. It's a vegan lip balm trio. I'm telling you, like, they didn't have a lot of stuff, so I picked from the stuff, then I visited other stores, and I found other stuff, and this is how we got here. So, was this my number one pick? No, but did I, was I curious about it enough to pay $5.99? Yes. I will have to let you guys know how it works. Lip balms are something that I fuck with, so, for $5.99 not a bad deal this one right off the bat just looks so pretty mmm smells so good are they specific flavors let me grab that that smells kind of watermelony mm, yeah rainbow watermelon bali coconut and island vanilla oh and they say it on it you dumb girl they do say it on the actual package. I'm excited to go ahead and use those. One of these is going in my purse immediately. Probably that watermelon one, no lie. So love that for us. Um, which by the way, I'm getting close to 500 subscribers. So girl, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Like this video if you fuck with me. At 500 subscribers, I'm going to be doing a giveaway. Make sure, if you're still watching this, comment down below. What are we gonna, a watermelon, cause that, that lip balm was bomb. So comment a watermelon to let me know that you're still in it to win it. And pretty soon, as soon as I hit 500 subscribers, be checking out on my Instagram because I'm gonna be doing a giveaway there for my 500 subscribers on YouTube. So anyways, love those. If I don't love them like 100% and I can bear to like, give one away then you guys might get one of those in the giveaway but if I cannot relinquish my paws from it then you get you don't get one of those okay um uh, moving right along I know okay bitch tell me why I feel like a while back these came to TJ Maxx I was not like oh my gosh I gotta have one then all these bitches are on YouTube saying oh my gosh the glam light kiss palettes are here at TJ Maxx look how cute they are and then all of a sudden I'm like even though I've seen those there before sometimes they like shit just hit different and now I want it so I went to TJ Maxx I found them and I got one Dumb. Okay, so here we are. I got this one for $10.99. I got the Kiss Glam Light Melt Chocolate with Almonds Palette. And honestly, out of all the ones they had, this one was the cutest. You already know. So look how cute that is. It's a nice little tin can. This is like a cream color with brown lettering because it's a Melt Chocolate Almond Girl open it up and it's actually quite cute on the inside these are the colors on the inside I know some people had said these uh, like cream colors were drying I don't see that in mine they look pretty juicy and it's just a neutral little palette but honestly I think it's cute it does have like that little plastic on this but when you take it off it is a mirror I just thought it was really cute, so I picked it up. Also, like, girl is influenced. I'm like, Glamlight? I gotta get it. But honestly, I haven't really tried many things from Glamlight. I just hear that they're a good brand. So comment down below if you fuck with Glamlight. Have I been missing out my whole life? But my whole thing is, like, also, I think I'm past the stage in my life where I want to be paying, like, a lot of money for palettes. Like, I have a shit ton of eyeshadow palettes. I really don't need that many. Um, and yes, yeah, some products work better than others, but honestly, I just think I'm past that part of my life. I think I got enough of those palettes. But for $10.99, I'm willing to try it, and I'm excited to try it. I hope that it does its thing. Do what it do, what it do. And that's my boyfriend calling. Alright girl, moving on. So 
So I was also influenced to buying these because bitch, I don't need any brushes. I really don't need any brushes. I mean, maybe I do, maybe I need to get rid of some brushes, but I was influenced by somebody else who picked these up to buy the brunch brushes. Uh, it's Weekend Vibes Brunch Brunch Brush Set from BH Cosmetics. That's the other brand I've been seeing a lot there. Um, Bitch, this is what they look like. How uh, how much did I pay for these? $9.99. They had other sets for honestly like $5.99. They had other sets that were like $15.99 or $14.99. I went for the one in the middle, like something that's cute enough and only $10 because honestly, I have enough brushes. That's what I'm trying to say. Look how cute. So they do feel heavy. I really, they do feel soft. Ooh. I really didn't want to ruin this. Yes, queen. They feel really soft. Let me see if I can get this back on because I just thought it looked cute on. <laughs> and now I just want it back on. Doo -doo. Got it back on. So they do feel soft. Let me feel this. Yeah, they feel soft. They feel lovely. And the pink is cute. I got them for $9.99. Like I said, I was influenced by somebody else who picked these up, but they had a lot of different options. A lot of different options with the BH brushes. And I, I wanna hear that somebody else bought them out, but I don't know who. So if you know, comment down below. I'm down to my last two items, bitch. You know I got the Tony the Tiger Frosted Flakes Glam Light Palette. Hello. So I heard people talking about this, and then I found it, so and then I got it. Ooh, so special. So how much did I pick this up for? I got this for $16.99. That's steep. That's steep for an ever, like a palette I didn't set out on buying. You know, I just randomly showed up to TJ Maxx and it was there. So I am gonna open it, letting me know nobody has tampered with it, which is very cool. <clears throat> I didn't really follow their collection to know when this came out. So if you know, you can comment down below. I just bought it, you know, out of, you know, just buying it. Just because, so it does have the plastic. Most of them are blues and oranges, oh my lord. I mean, I could have guessed that and I think I did see that. I'm gonna swatch a couple of these bluey colors. These feel gorgeous, glam like come through. So I'm gonna do a matte and two creams. Ooh, I'm excited, Tony the Tiger. This is nice. This is nice. For $16.99, this is nice. Shit, for $20, that is nice. Okay, so this is the matte one. We'll see how it swatches in comparison to the Morphe ones. So, it's a, I actually think it's a better swatch than the Morphe ones. It's more consistent. It drags down further before it becomes inconsistent. Love it. We're gonna go with the shiny one. Here's my shiny blue. Let's see if it's gonna focus for us. Come on, baby. And then we're gonna go in with our light, light blue. And that's what that one looks like. Beautiful colors. Woo! Glam Light, Tony the Tiger, $16.99. I think this one's worth it. I love the way those colors swatch. Ix all the Morphe stuff, go for the Glam Light stuff. That's my verdict, even though I didn't swatch the Kiss ones. The last item, <laughs> I actually got this on clearance, I think for $10, because one was marked down for 10 and it was busted as fuck. Then I went and found one that was not marked for 10 and was not busted as fuck. Ask the guy at the register. The guy at the register did it for me. So I got it. You guys got it. The Pat McGrath Bridgerton. Um, what is this? The Skintil uh, Skintilating Diamond Body Shimmer. 
It was $19.99. I just told you guys I got it for a reduced value of $10. I got a brand new one. Um, I don't know how you guys feel about like the body shimmers. I don't mind them, especially when it comes to summer. I had an Urban Decay Heat one, and last summer that's the one I was rocking, so I'm not above it. This is what it looks like. Cute. I'm trying not to get it filthy. It's just a white puff, and it does come sealed. Um, I'm going to see if I can open it. I've already seen it because at the store they had it open. Nice. Oh, and I got a little bit of blue on it. I knew I was going to do that. So we're just going to go in. Can you guys see it? It's kind of hard to see, guys, but honestly... My hands are filthy, and I don't have something readily available for me to clean them on. Maybe I'll just... I'll just use the other hand. How about that? Come on, can you guys freaking see that? Okay, I don't know if you guys can see it because of lighting, but it's there. I don't know that I like the scent, but it's there. Wow, that was anticlimactic. If I knew that was going to happen, I would not have saved it till the end. I'll have to check in with you guys and let you guys know how this actually performs when I'm using it and I don't have color all over my hand. But guys, that's the end of my TJ Maxx haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys subscribed and liked this video. I hope you follow me on Instagram because that's where the giveaway is going to be once I hit 500 subscribers, girls. So side eye, you better be subscribing if you're watching this. All right, I guess until next time. Bye, girl. Hello? Uh, how's it going? Good. I'm trying to finish this video, though, so that I can go and pick up that prescription before they fucking close on me again. Oh, okay. Are you walking back or what? Yeah. Yeah? Did you have a good yeah. break? Yeah, I had a good break. It was all right. It was all right? Well, I love you. Love you too. A lot. <laughs> Alright, I'll let you finish. Dang, time. you couldn't even tell me you love me a lot. You're gonna be on camera and everybody's gonna hear you because right now I'm filming. Oh, I love you a lot too. That's right, boy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love you. I'll talk to you later. Bye. All right. Bye, baby. Bye, baby.